many times in Brazil already? I remember once at least. Once. Yeah, yeah. this is only our second time. It's been five years in between. So, five years already? Yeah, we wanted to come back, but... I didn't know about that. The first concert here was a success, I remember. It was a blast. Yeah, it was crazy. Going, people were going nuts. Ape shit crazy, yeah. Were you <laughs> expecting that? or No. <laughs> No, no, we're not expecting it. We'd never been here before, so you know we're hoping some people would show up. Certainly, but it was, it was way better than we could have imagined. We are the kind of band that just always on the road. Am I right on? Uh, often we we weren't on the road for several months. Now we're ba about to be on the road again a bunch. Yeah, yeah, we took I don't know maybe six months off from touring to get our new record together, and uh, and now that it's out, we are hitting the road. Yeah. Are you old friends? Because it's the same lineup since, yeah, since yeah. The, the beginning. Yeah, yeah. yeah. You Were you friends other, before? Or? We've known each other for so so damn long. I don't know. Yeah, late 90s. So Red Fang is not your first band, I bet. You had some no, solo no, bands yeah. before. I, I think we yeah. did some counting. I think I counted nine bands. I've been <laughs> nine bands already. You know what? You put in the videos like a lot of beer, but I, I, I don't think that fits with your sound because your music is very... There is a lot of discipline in that. Am I right? It's so tight, the music. Huh. Oh, yeah, we try not I, to I, drink too much opinion. beer before we play. <laughs> yeah, but we also uh, don't really mind if, if, it, if, if the music uh, kind of speeds up and slows down. I mean, I've seen bands that are, like, surgical, and I, I wouldn't describe us as that. I mean, I, I think probably... But, you know, tightness, I mean, as, as tight as we can be, but I think a lot of it is because we have played together so long, and I, I can sort of anticipate what he's going to do on drums, even if he's improvising, I can still, I just know his style. Because it's very technical, am I right? I have a, I have a it's not easy to play, your music is not, I don't, not easy at all. I, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm a knuckle dragon guitar player. Technical for a caveman, maybe. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> This album, I love it. Only goes. Thank you. It's your fourth yeah. album. Yeah. I think you're kind of expanding our music. Am I right? Well, I'm glad. I mean, we, you know, we certainly don't want to, you know, keep putting the same record out over and over again. Right. And I think that, yeah, maybe our music vocabulary is getting bigger. I, mean, I guess it's not something that we really are conscious of. It's not like we sit down and say, okay, for this album, let's try to sound like this. You know, it just, it's pretty organic process, I guess. You changed the producer. Is there something to do with that, or? Ross uh, Robinson. So yeah, I, he's definitely had a lot to do with the, the way this record sounds. Uh, he's a very hands-on producer and a, a magical guy. Those previous records we did pretty quick. We had the songs written and then just went and recorded them. This one, we lived in Ross's house where the studio was for a month. Some aspect of recording was going on, what, probably 10 to 12 hours a day. We yeah, all it was crazy. All the time, but it was, you know. It was like we lived and breathed, it never went home. Yeah. Was, so it was the first time that's ever happened for Many us. takes each song are you, you prefer like to record uh, the first one and got much freedom yeah, with that? Yeah, it's shitloads of takes. Even if we had good takes, like do it, do it again. Do Just, it again. To, you know. You don't mind doing that? No. Um, and often I would want to do it again, even if it, you know, like, no, it's good enough. Like, no, no, I can do better, you know. <laughs> Are you a perfectionist or? <laughs> well, I just, it's, I'm hard on myself. <laughs> You've been touring with a band that I loved so much, that is Opet. Opet? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you think there's something to do with your music? Uh, I think they're, they have some fairly advanced, um, you know, yeah. time signatures, weird. Talk about technical. Yeah, yeah that is a technical, technical band. Um, but they have a lot of soul too for, for being as technical and proggy. At first I thought that we, our styles were very different, but I think it worked on tour. Yeah. I don't, I don't agree. Actually. All right. Well, it's good to hear for once. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah, people do think that we are stoner band. I don't, I don't agree. I don't mind being called stoner because it's just a word. It doesn't matter. It's just a label. Yeah, but, it, but I think that, I mean, what I think of a stoner is like, you know, sleep or, or yob or something, or sort of a rumination on a, on a, on like a heavy blues riff, like super heavy. 
and then you kind of do experiment over it, you know. I mean, it's sort of, and then it's so it's really good for being stoned. <laughs> yeah, that's all, right. that's right. all music is good for getting <laughs> that's stoned. True, that's true. <laughs> you know, uh, but uh, yeah, I, I feel like we can fit with lots of different styles of, of bands because we don't box ourselves into one. You know, that's great. That's why sound. What kind of bands do you listen to? We listen to everything. A lot I mean, of different have, stuff. I mean, you name it. I mean, you remember your first record? My first record was um, the Muppet Movie soundtrack. <laughs> I, it's, it stands up too. It's, a, it's good. I got the cassette at Kmart. And rock and roll. Uh, first one was uh, yeah, it is um, Van Halen. Fair warning. Fair warning. Yeah, the first the one. best That's Van Halen. Best record. Van Halen. Record. You like it? Yeah. Any influence yeah. from from Alex and your drumming? Oh, for sure. Who is your favorite drummer, actually? Well, I have lots, but John Bonham is, of course, supreme. Um, but uh, Matt Cameron, Cody Willis. Um, Matt Cameron is great. Huh? Yeah. How long have you been on the road for this time? Well, we did two. For the European. We did a big European tour and then a big U.S. tour and then took a few months off. And then did a small U.S. tour, and now we're here. Do you usually play in festivals? In the summer, we'll do it like this. We usually do a festival tour in Europe in the summer, but most of the time we play smaller clubs. Smaller clubs. Yeah. So nice to meet you. Likewise. Thanks a lot. Great meeting you. I do enjoy the band. Huh? Thank Thanks you. A, thanks a lot. Thanks. Adios.